Hey everyone, the Ryan Defini here, and I've got a little tutorial on a uh, Strumpy Shader Editor and Unity 3D. Um, so what I'm going to be getting through here is um how to make a blood splatter. It's going to have like a little um specular gleam to it, possibly a little bit of blood flow. Um, that'd be fun to do at least for me. Uh, that'd be a bit gross for some, but and the last and last thing um I'll I'll try to implement is just the alpha, the decal of, um, the alpha cutout for the blood. Um, this is this going to be a decal texture? And not just that, we're going to do this all in, uh, one texture. Because in, in, um, Strumpy, we can take the different channels of red, green, blue, and alpha, or also the, known as the, in abbreviation, the RGBA channels. And you can split them up and use them as separate textures, and as themselves. It's a very efficient way of, uh, of working with texturing and shading, shaders and materials, etc. And beats down the, the file size dramatically. Um, so let's have a little start. So when we start off, you can start painting in this like the RGB channel, but notice that it's going to paint in all these. Well, if you want to, this is like one of the more awesome things you, that you can do in like Strumby, is just being efficient and stuff. Uh, click on one of these. Uh, start painting like, I know, the, the blood uh, peripherals around it. Don't worry about color, just do it like black and white. Paint in black and white or just white. Um, just keep in mind that um, for any sort of texturing, black is off, white is on, all the grays are the are the uh, in-betweens. And um, but I mean, if it's black, um, and if you say like have an alpha channel, well, we're going to use this texture, a texture for an alpha. What's black won't be shown what what's uh, white will be shown everything in between will uh, sort of fade in and out depending, depending on your uh, alpha channel type but I'll get into, I won't get into depth of that yet right now uh, move this around a little bit so that's a little um, yeah we have a little blood splatter here uh, yeah Oops. there we go that should do that's the red channel also notice that when I do that, it shows the red in the RGB channel. Now, um, now the next one down, we're gonna do the, uh, the texture that'll be rif rippling down a little bit. Yeah, that does sound gross, but let's see if we can do that. Just put color white. Give it a I mean, a small pattern. Uh, just gonna be lazy and take one of these patterns here, but you'll get the basic idea. I'll adjust this. Curves, just so we have a nice bubbly and yeah, disgusting thing. Oh, jeez. Um, sorry, my language there. All right, that should probably do. Nice little just drop in here a little bit as well. So that will be the uh, what's going to be flowing down. I uh, would brush this up a little bit more, but uh, you, you, you yourself can do a bit, a bit more. But this is just to show what you can do um, with it. Not so much the end result you can get, but um, potential end result. Last, last, second, last one with the blue channel. Uh, also notice here it's going to be looking like a bit of a cluster, login as some say in German. Uh, uh, yes, so we've got, um, the red and, and green channels, they'll be going together, you'll start seeing blue, and it starts looking crazy. Don't fret, that's what it's meant to look like. Um, so, that's, that's, what the last one should probably be is just, specular? Yeah, yeah, that, that'll do. Let's get the outline of this. A little specular highlight, I'd say. As for that, yeah, oh, yeah. Right. So, so for that, for round, and um, cut these in a little bit. So it's be like a little bit of that little bit of blood that just gleams. 
Um, you'll see what I mean by that. It's not that easy to explain. And the alpha, if you don't have this channel, um, go to channels, into the channels, and just click this uh, new page button here, uh, the create new channel button actually it's called. Um, it should bring up the alpha straight up. You only really need one. Not sure what the benefit will be of having multiple, but um, it won't read that well and um, it's jumpy anyway. Um, the last one I have would just be, um, I would just say, hmm, we, we could just do a fun little, um, little smiley face, how about that? Just a fun little smiley face, they'll just appear in it. As creepy as, as that is. It's my style actually, I'll be honest. Alright, so that's what we looks like. Let's just save this. Uh, decal. I'll save the PSD as I go. Also save this as uh, the few formats you can use. You can use. I think PNG sort of uses alpha, but it can be problematic because um, the alpha that PNGs use is an RGB channel. It doesn't have an alpha. However, it uh, uses um, it it um. If someone manages to, manages to have transparency without the alpha, I just worry about that not picking up transparency, the, the alpha channel. Um, so let's save this. Uh, blood splatter decal. Oh, like game textures. Yeah, that, that should do. Blood splatter decal. So this, yeah, this looks kind of weird right now. We get on one coming in, coming to here. No idea what's happening there. Don't even know that group. I should get out of it soon while it's really spam me to death. Uh, okay, let's get this into into uh, into Unity. So here we have um, Strumpy. Get off the yes or if you can. It's free and uh, simple enough simple enough to set up. Uh, it's like. I don't even need to set up. Just just download it off the asset store. It's if it's on a store. It's actually a free application for it. And um, start it up from the top uh, bar here. If it doesn't show up when as soon as you install, click around up to the top here, and it should appear all of a sudden. Just magically, it does that. So let's um start by first off before we begin this. Um, so let's make it plain so we can stand on something. Let's just compare this to something above it. Plane and for the decal itself, let's size this down. Duplicate, size it down. Move up ever so slightly to avoid Z fighting. Z fighting is when you see um, two um, polygons or textures just fighting over each other. Just they look like they're just ripping ripping into each other, trying to get on top. It's a bizarre sight, but it's just yeah, uh, not not. <laughs> not an unpleasant look for anything, it just ruins ruins immersivity. Anyway, um so the name of this would be Blood Splatter Decal. This is the shader name. Uh going to settings here by the way. So, so the shader name is Blood Splatter Decal. This will what show up in I'll show you. Say we make um one of these materials. I'll just make a new material just specifically for this. So, right click, go to create and material. Name this just blood splatter. Tech mat. There we go. I'll just drag and drop this onto the uh, object I have there. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah there you go. So the shader is actually what appears, not on the material name. Okay, that's getting annoying. Um, the but the uh, this part here, it will show up in along here. I check what the hell that is, and if I can get rid of the group in a moment. Ah, uh, I'll do that afterwards. Um, so up here, up here. So the it'll include little um. In, Little parts like uh, the main main color that you you can do this. Actually, it's it's quite easy for artists to be able to tweak these sort of things. So you can set up um like a color you can tweak around for the maybe blood, or shit or the, even the the specularity colors. You can even um change some things with the uh, the texture itself that goes over it. For now, we will just we'll just get a texture and 
maybe color a few color changes because mind you the the um the channel when we get the channels in individually they will be black and white so we can add a little something to make it red make it green whatever you want it's kind of bizarre on my end but Mexico's made it a bit bizarre save as then we can save as then export afterwards um so let's call this D splatter decal. Um, I'm basically using that name all the time. So once it's saved, saved as you can just save over, over and over again. Uh, it's just doing that often in case uh, anything does go wrong. I'm not saying well, not as yet, but just just be wary. I'm gonna make a new folder here called shaders. And save this here. Now, now, when you make the new shader, you can save this anywhere, literally. You know, that, that error is just my computer. Um, doing something specific. You know, what you name here doesn't matter as much as just say no what, what your file, where, where and what your file is for this shader. Um, once it's in, once it's in, uh, in Unity, it's pretty much installed. The new shader, that is. So, for example, once it uh, decides to go up for what it's doing, fun. I don't understand what it's Russian. Anyway, uh, let's see. Killing um depth things. No, no, don't worry about that. Anyway, so when we've done that. This means when you go to here, this should show up. Yep, blood splatter decal. That's exactly what we're after. Doesn't have anything on it now, but that's what I'm about to fix. Just add things into well, make it work and work how we want it wanted to. So first off we got the uh splitting the um the channels that we were going going after. To start with, we need um a few nodes. So we need uh the sampler two D node. This samples the uh, texture we need. Go into node here, name the input to something you'll remember of what, what it's supposed to do. This is the node like um from before. What it will show up as is go to diffuse here, you'll see the the texture here. This is the node you'll see in the editor. And you can load something into it, like as you do with any other that very diffuse text texture um shader thing. Let's uh RGBA text. I'll answer that guy in a moment. After this. Um. So. RGBA. <laughs> Leave me alone. Um. Nodes. So this is a. This, this is the first node that's in. Um. You can change things to defaults in here. Like, uh, if you want to come in and just be textureless, you can just leave it as is. If you want to automatically be fed into a texture, you can change this in here. But you can just always change it out there while you, while you have it in another material. Um, so another thing we'll need to do is also get a text text to the uh, node. This feeds in the UV coordinates and the... Uh, of of the material and the, and, and a mesh and to the mesh you're putting it on, and the uh, sampler is getting across what the texture looks like. Um, here, and now notice this, RGB A and R and A here. This is going to split up. This is going to one outputs all the channels. One outputs just the alpha. This one way you can just, and funnily enough, in uh, some mid program some uh, textures you can just do alpha and it will just come out black and white depending if it has an alpha channel itself which is handy for like uh, for various tweaking so let's get this thing here um, I was gonna get that's right uh, let's get the uh, it's called the split where are you split here we go so this will split up the the RGBA channels. Um, don't freak out when you say X Y Y Z W. 
because um, these are like these are literally the nodes that they they need. Um, so the first node is is gonna be X, meaning R, red. Y is gonna be green, and so forth. That's the only reason you need to know. It's gonna be from first to last in in order. R G B A X Y Z W. That's just they're just placeholders for the names. It's, they don't have names. So now it's split. Technically, we'll have the um. So we want this to be like a an alpha. However, um, there's an also fun thing we fun, fun thing we can do with that. Uh, I'm gonna do some same with this. I'm gonna invert it. So you remember how it looks here? Um, let's get this up. So red had a. Uh, oh, did I even import this? Pressure. Red check. Sorry, friends. Yes, it isn't. All right. So remember that that red. It's a uh, the whites in the middle, blacks on the outside. Okay. So here's here's something I I can do to what having to edit the texture in here. And also, it's very useful just to um, make a bit more variation for your textures that you import. Just it, it's a node based system. So remember how I said off zero, black is off, one is on. Also think about it this way: black is zero, one. And white is one, and it's a it's a flip va value value meaning it's um it's not like one and zero it's one, and then it's like point nine point eight. There's even like numbers underneath that. Um, it's you can have a like small number if you as you want just between zero and one. I think that will have to go into maths as well. Yes, no, boring. It's maths, but I found this quite interesting. <laughs> I, I never used to find maths interesting until. I found how I can use it in sh in shaders, um, so that means um, let's get a one constant in here. Okay, one means it's just gonna be white. So um, well, what I'm gonna do here is uh, let's set this up. I'm gonna invert this so yes, the white parts will be black, black parts will be white. It's gonna be completely inverted. Just let's again. And what we're going to do is subtract the, uh, yes, move this along a little bit. What we're going to do is subtract the 1, means white. It's just going to be, think about this, it's going to be a, a white square. Well, we can, well, then we can subtract that white square with the parts of this which are now white in, um, in here. So these outsides bits will be white, everything in between will be grayish, those will also subtract from the white square, inside will be black, that will un not be affected in the white, in the white square. Um, that means, um, it, well, that means you, I've inverted that everything is going to be, it's just going to be like a plateau of alpha. Actually, yes, that, that does work, that will work. I'm going to just insert that into alpha and that should be fine, but at the same time kind of uh, wanting to get a, a color into that. Um, just realized that wouldn't have any effect. Great. But that's also something to keep in mind about the whole um, white square and subtraction, but that will be in handy. I'll do that anyway. I'll plug it into alpha, as well as um, I'm going to multiply this Get the multiply. I'm going to multiply this with a color. Uh, this is going to be like red blood after all, so what other color would you expect? Um, select this node. Blood color. Yeah, if you're wondering why I'm spelling it like that, I'm an Australian. Okay. So, let's put this into diffuse. So that's the alpha and the color is in a double whammy right there. Okay, so next one down. Keep in mind this was uh this is gonna be the flowing texture. Yeah, oh, this is where things can get a bit more fun. Okay, so uh copy not so much this, but copy this. Bring it down. Possibly that as well. We will need that. Okay, so what I'm doing here is we'll connect these up. Connect the samplers up. Not the UVs yet. 
and we're wanting to do is make a sine sine wave or something to to um to translate the uh, or move the the texture the bubbly texture I have here downwards I, just constantly and just slowly but I'm um, enough for like for a slight flow uh, and we can probably do a small like disturbing displacement with it as well so that should be fun right anyway um, enough about that let's get the uh, thing called uh, the UV pan only thing I have to point out to everyone here is um, once you connect these up that is click on this go to node this is where things can get a little bit confusing but not if you understand it like I do um, see, um, the UV, UV, um, UV maps is technically a three, three, um, stage map, U, V, and W. U is, is where the X plane will be, left and right, Y is the, um, is the up and down, uh, which is the same as, is, as V, W is what's, what's vertical, Z here is vertical to the uh, texture you're looking at. So change to Z, and um, then what last thing you really need to do is just say which direction you want to go upward, up, you want to go. X for sideways, Y for vertical. I'm gonna choose Y for Y, because I'm just gonna go up or down, or downwards per personally, but yeah. So that's all connected up now, but next we need is uh, a sine wave. That's a constant, uh, the same to do with time that we can use. Um, it just goes from oscillates, so we can get um a good uh. Well, we can we can just constantly make it flow. So we want what we want is time. What we also want is uh, a float. That's uh that's a number with with like a a point. They can they can have points in it. A point uh, number, at one point one, zero point six, etc. And so let's call it some. Time control. Yes, that's what it is. Multiply. It's gonna look weird, but at first, but um, what we're doing is multiplying time by the number. So every certain amount of time, this sine wave will complete, and and um, and it will and it will just constantly overlap. It'll it'll play around, play that um, on sine wave um, it, like it'll oscillate from that uh every certain amount of time. So say if we set it to select to one, it'll, it'll go up and down one second. If three three is gonna up, up and down in three seconds. It it's a very nice variable. So now we now we can finally split this part. It's uh, it's probably will be faster if I didn't explain, but what's the point of a tutorial if I didn't explain? Uh so this one here. Let's uh let's do something with this. Let's uh, mul multiply. So what we want to do now is um, possibly get a little parallax going. And parallax is like a you get the view view and height of a of a texture and it changes a little bit. Same fun we can do. So it's not just like a we see we see, see bubbles floating down, but eh, we can do that. But for a little bit of a specular or gloss, whatever it's going to be flowing down. But I'm also saying we can do something to dis distort it a little bit. So, let's, uh, how's the offset? Um, the view. Let's get, that. Let's get the, uh, something fun. Yes, uh, what we can do with this is, um, get the world position. No, wait, what was it? World, can't, wait, one second. Screen position, haha, <laughs> here we go. That's the uh, view, if I'm correct. Height. There's the screen position. Bias, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's, let's ignore that. I'll just go sim keep it simple. Stupid. Um, yes. So what we're going to do is just uh, make it just overlay. <laughs> that should be fine. So, with, you get the Y, because that's where the bubbles are. Multiply that un underneath something. Um, multiply that under U. Uh, yes. 
And this is where we can actually replace place it under here. At the same time, we can um, put, put this under specular. All right, let's save this before anything goes wrong. Uh, come on. Safe. Uh, trust me, it's safe. Hopefully you can trust me at this point, even though it freezes every now and then. Yes, here we go. Okay. So next next one we're going to do is uh, those little rim sort of things. This is where we can do that little uh, parallax, by the way. Or something to do with, like, camera distortion. This is like a little light. We can do light distortion with this. A little bit, like, just depending on the angle to look at it, it's going to look pretty and glowy and stuff. Yeah. So these rims around the blood are going to be, oh, shiny. Ooh, shiny, yes. Um, so let's get this. That's, that's this one here. Uh, what we can do with this is uh, get the parallax again. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the parallax, aren't I? Um, no, actually, well, that'd be the one, the right one. Fresnel, haha, <laughs> that's what I was thinking about. Okay, so here's what I want. We want the view from a uh, screen position. That's the screen position of dependent on uh, on the actual player and camera compared to where the texture is. Let's get that. The normal. Remember what that is. Hold on. Let's plug that in there. And here we go. Specular. Well, fun thing we can actually do here. We'll multiply this the uh, specular and of this one of of the blue channel and specular of the red of the was it the green channel? Yes. Um. One same. Multiply. And that should basically. Now we're going here, as well as just put this into gloss. Also, might be wondering what the hell it's going, to, it's going to look like so far. So, um, before we continue a little bit further, what I'm going to do is, uh, before we get that smiley face in, which we don't have to, but it might be nice, um, <coughs> wait for this to save. Every time I export, it automatically updates, so there's nothing more you have to do except for export. Okay, so it's looking black, but one second. That's what we're supposed to do. Get the texture in. And let's get the blood splatter in. Also notice that we got a couple of uh, variables here too. Blood color. Hmm. That's one thing I forgot to do. See how it's just, uh, it would be showing through on the ground here. And so there's one, there's one uh, small issue. Um, it's not very transparent because so you need to go to settings. Q settings, uh, first off. You want to go transparent and transparent. Okay, you can either go transparent or transparent cutout. Transparent ordinary is probably the most is the harder like harder one on engines, but um, it looks prettier. Uh, cutout is is uh, the easier on engines, but potentially it might not look, look as pretty. And let's go to let's go to uh, blending options here. And actually, that should be fine. Yes. Save. Export. Yeah. This will do it eventually. Here we go. So what else does this look like? Unfortunately, I didn't have the right blending on yet. That's probably my only issue. I swear. Alright. Okay, so it's not moving yet until you go into play mode. Just keep that in mind. Anything animated, anything just supposed to move into the shader won't show animating until you have the game playing. I, uh, 
around to that the stub there. I was like, what is happening? My project is due in a few days, and I, I, it's not working. I'm freaking out. Then I press the play button, and everything's working. Yeah, that's the true story. Um, and in there. Also, now you can update these in real time. Uh, when you have exposed variables, you can change them while in the game. Gameplay mode. Um, and uh, it shouldn't... It will revert after you've ex exited the gameplay mode. But, um... It's a good way to test things, really. What do I go into blend? That's one thing I forgot. I knew it. Absolutely knew it. All you want to do is into, go into blending. Nah. Come on. Can do this. I gotta sleep soon. <laughs> Alright, so blending. Blend. Save. Come on now. My computer is lagging up a bit. Yep, here we go. So this is what I'm just going to look like. It's loads. So note it won't look as pretty or glowy or anything if you don't have lights in the scene. Just just keep them in that in mind. Also note that a specular generally doesn't work without normals. I forgot to mention this part. Normal maps are important. For games, just just things won't shine as much. Maybe you don't have them. So that's an important thing to know. When I was playing, but I'm just going to try to get a directional light in. Yeah, that. Game object. Get light in so we can see what the hell is happening with this object here. Obviously, it's not looking at blood like yet. Yeah. I actually just realized a, a big problem we did. Notice it's going to be showing up black here. I can't multiply these together and it's not going to work that way. Um, so, one thing, I'll do what I did here with one and subtract. I'm going to take this both actually. It's possibly bad as well. Copy that and that. to do. Yes, it will. Sorry. I'm going to be falling asleep soon. <laughs> um, just a warning. Start dozing off. Just let me know by email. Uh, So friend the computer. Huh. Uh. Apply those together, and you can. Hmm. Yes. Also, we need actually a red light color. That wasn't in there yet. Oh, 
I'll just do that. Sorry, I'll explain these if I can, but if not necessary, I won't actually explain them. Because I'll want to just go around zeros for you. That's not a good thing. Come on. It's 11 at night. <laughs> saying that, but it is. Alright, cool. So, let's see. Ah, that's one thing I forgot. Knolls. So, like, we can do a black and white knoll for a bump map, as it's called. That's like a black and white knoll map. Um, let's go with that for now. There we go. Move this. Oh, oh great. So that's something, right? Yes, it is. Hopefully. It's got something running here. Looks creepy as all hell, but yeah, that, that that's an idea. <laughs> yes, um, that's sort of the blood I was after, but we can slow down a lot, obviously. That's um some of it. I'll actually have to start part two tomorrow because I am nodding off. Uh, I'll um see you guys in a few.